Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So finally we are starting our decentralized exchange project video in that we're going to build Uniswap clone. So all the feature and functionality which you find in Uniswap like liquidity, swap, multiple swaps, take in, that's all we're going to build. So I thought let's make a dedicated video and in that I should share that what you exactly going to learn in this complete project. So Uniswap is one of the biggest decentralized exchange where you can swap multiple tokens which is on the Ethereum blockchains and that's the only thing you have to know. I'll take you a little bit in more details about the Uniswap protocol that how it is exactly work because it's very important for you to know that what is the behavior of Uniswap. Then you can easily able to use the pre-existing smart contract SDK in the applications. So first let's talk about the Uniswap. What is Uniswap exactly? Uniswap is a decentralized exchange that enables peer-to-peer -peer market making. So Uniswap smart contract is deployed on Ethereum blockchain and this is the blockchain, Ethereum blockchain and every single individual represent a node. So if you connect with Ethereum blockchain, you're going to represent yourself like this. And you will have all the data and you will share your data. And this is how you're going to connect. It's a very funny. So let's move to the next. So as we all know that every single blockchain has their own cryptocurrency. So right now we have a couple of popular cryptocurrency like Dogecoin, Ethereum, Dog, Binance, Solana. In the same way, Uniswap has its own cryptocurrency. And that's called uni and this is how the symbol would look like and this is how you can denote so let's try to understand that how centralized exchange work and how decentralized exchange work so on the left hand side you can see that this is a single block which contain all the information about the transaction about the data and all these nodes this these blocks represent you so when you connect yourself with a centralized authority that's how you represent and this is called decentralized so there is no fixed block which control all the data on the decentralized place. Every single node, that node means it's you. So when you connect yourself with the blockchains, you represent as a node. So this node is a single individual. This node is a single individual and they all are connected and they all share data. And the smart contract we're going to use from the Uniswap, that's run independently. There is no third party involved. There is no centralized authority involved who control that smart contract. That's run absolutely independently. So there are multiple blockchains you can find on the list. So altogether we have 12 blockchain avalanche and it goes all the way to XDC network. But the Uniswap smart contract is deployed on the Ethereum. Just forgive me for this. It's 1 to 6 and 1 to 6, but it's 7 to 12. There are 12 popular blockchain, but the smart contract of Uniswap is deployed on the Ethereum blockchain. So if you want to know that what exactly the smart contract which you are using to swap the token, do the multiple transactions, taking, liquidating, making money, it's open source. You can have an understanding. You can just look at the code and you can read that what the function they have included, what exactly the function is doing. And if you want to contribute, you can come to the community and you can give your idea, you can give your proposal to the smart contract. So it's absolutely open source, no authority control, it acts independently. Now let's talk about the Uniswap smart contract feature. You can do trade of any ERC20 token as per the token follow the Ethereum technical standard. So this contract is deployed on the Ethereum blockchain. So you have to follow the ERC20 standard if you want to swap the token using the Uniswap protocol. And the second one is that you can easily able to provide and create liquidity pools. You can provide liquidity so other can come and buy your token and swap. You can create multiple swap. You can hold multiple asset ERC20 token and you can do the transaction from one another. And that's the power of Uniswap smart contract. Because these are the important things you have to know that what the protocol is and how it's work. What are the feature and functionality it's provide and how you can use Uniswap protocols to do the trade and create your decentralized finance because these are the core concept of Uniswap when you come to DeFi these are the core concept and you have to understand each of this but don't need to worry if it sounds confusing right this moment we're going to code this entire application I'm going to explain you everything we're going to simply do the testing of the contract we're going to connect with the ethereum mainnet and we're going to compare the pricing and on the base of that we're going to do the transaction so everything i will explain in detail but these are the core things you have to keep in mind these terminology now the way to connect 
So we can easily able to build our front-end application using Next or React.js or TypeScript. But Unisop provide two ways to connect and interact with the Unisop protocols. The first one is directly from the smart contract and the second one we have is SDK. So SDK is a JavaScript library. All you have to do is to use that library and you can do the transaction. So we're going to do the both thing. First, we'll start with the smart contract. We're going to test the entire logic of our Unisop exchange with the smart contract. Then we're going to move to the SDK because I believe that you guys want to learn both the thing. That's very important because SDK will save a lot of time for us because we don't need to write custom code for fetching data, everything and all. But all the testing we're going to do with the solid smart contract. But when it's come to fetching the data, we're going to use the SDK, which take most of our work away. Now let's come to the next slides and how the section is divided of this entire project. Although this project is going to be very huge because we have to cover a lot of things. So first section will focus on the UI part. We have to design the UI that what are the things we're going to provide. So on the one section, you can see that we have our beautiful UI and I will soon upload the video right after this one. Okay. So in this UI, we're going to fetch all the tokens which a user have in a, his wallet. That's what we're going to display. We have to fetch the network. We have to provide the swap. So we'll do the single swap, multiple swap, and then we'll do the swap on the base of our own token. So these are the three core features we have to build in the smart contract. And after that, we're going to provide liquidity, create liquidity so we can make money out of it. Okay. So in the first section, we'll build the totally UI part. No interaction with the smart contract only UI in the second section we're going to build close to six to seven smart contract because a lot of things will go on okay so we have to price single multiple liquidity liquidity provider staking and it's kind of a decentralized exchange so where we allow user to stake the token and get a reward of that so we're going to include that functionality so we have to write close to seven to eight smart contract and at the end when we're going to connect so before we connect our front end, we're going to test all the smart contract using Heart at Mocha library and Jive library, which is very powerful and very demandable in the industry. OK, so we're going to test our smart contract using those library. And after that, in the third section, we're going to use this SDK, which is so powerful, provided by Uniswap. So you can all you have to do is to utilize it, install it, and you have to make some function calls and you can straight away connect with your front end application to work exactly the same so that's the structure i'm going to follow in this entire huge project you will see that it seems quite simple but it's not there is a lot of things goes into this so hope you guys have the complete understanding with that let's move to the next slides and finally we have come to an end so i don't want to extend this video too long because ultimately you guys are going to build this project from the scratch to the higher level. So I just try to keep this short, but I thought let's make a dedicated video where I can show you that how I'm planning to take this course away because I personally believe that if you follow this complete DeFi project, you would be ready for the industry because I will try to cover every single thing in this, every single things. First, we'll start from single swap, multiple swap. Then we have our own token swap. Then we'll provide the banking. So if someone have any kind of token, they can stake their token and they can earn reward. We'll try to include the NFT staking as well. So the concept is huge. We'll take one step at a time and we're going to build a smart contract and it's going to be a lot of fun. So hope you guys are excited. If you are, then do leave in the comment section that I'm starting this project. If I get 100 likes, then definitely I will come with another big project and I will have something special for you. So I hope you guys have understood that what we're going to build in the next eight to seven days. So every day I'm going to upload two videos. So I believe that you guys can take a rest and you can build continuing because if I upload the video in, if I upload the entire video at once, Nobody going to build that. So you have to take one video at a time, build and understand that how the variables are going on. And the reason why I have decided to split the video because right now I got a lot of comment in our NFT market project because you guys are watching the videos not properly, not in the sequence way. You guys are watching a particular part and you are saying that we are getting this error. OK, I totally understand that everybody make mistakes, but try to follow the playlist from the beginning till the end. And that way you will have no error because I'll try to cover every single error which comes on my way. And if you're missing any part and then you are getting an error, then you have to rewatch the video. Okay, so that's it. 
that's the only thing i want to tell you guys so this video will go live around and after two hours of this live we'll have our first video in that we're going to build our front end so we're going to do the setups and that's all so see you in that and hit like and save the playlist so you can keep your get self updated and hit the like uh, and notification bell so whenever i upload videos you guys get the notification and don't miss it so see you on the other side we start building soon have a wonderful day